Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Wednesday, January 25th, 2017. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord and use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it, give God praise today because He is worthy of all of our praise. He is worthy of all of our thanksgiving and He is worthy of all of our worship. Friends, we've been studying on the topic of willing and obedient and our base verse, our foundational verse, has been Isaiah chapter 1 and verse number 9 where we read, If ye be willing and obedient... Ye shall eat the good of the land. And we've been looking at people who have been willing and obedient and people who have not been willing and obedient. And today we're going to continue with the latter part, some people who are not willing and obedient. And our reading today is going to be from Acts chapter 26. And it's in verse number 28. Scripture says, Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. Friends, Paul was in prison and he was coming before King Agrippa and he was he was presenting his case, he was testifying of his faith in Jesus Christ and how he, he, he taught how Jesus was the Messiah and how you have to put your faith in him. And after hearing Paul's testimony, after hearing Paul's message from the Lord, King Agrippa says, Almost. Thou hast persuaded me to be a Christian. Friends, almost is not good enough. Almost isn't going to get you to heaven. Almost isn't worth anything. we got to be 100% fully committed to the Lord. Almost will get you nowhere. I remember a picture on Facebook that I think illustrates this almost idea better. There was a picture of this big diamond mine and somebody taking a pickaxe and and digging a hole to this diamond mine and stop just mere inches from the mine, from the diamonds, while somebody else was digging up the other side with a pickaxe and they went all the way to the diamond mine. Friends, don't stop just before the diamond mine. Don't stop just before you accept Jesus Christ. Being a good person is not going to do anything for you. Going to church isn't going to do anything for you if you don't accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You're not going to get into heaven because you spent Sunday morning and Sunday night in church. you got to confess and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Almost is not enough. And Agrippa, King Agrippa, was, was almost persuaded. And just like the king yesterday that we had looked at, Governor Felix... There's no known record that he ever actually accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior. The same thing with King Agrippa. Almost. Almost. You know, the two that we looked at yesterday and today, Felix and Agrippa, is two of the most common things that we see happening in our society today. People are almost convinced to accept Jesus, and then they back away. And like we studied yesterday... People want to have a convenient time for them to come to Christ. Finish up with the things they want to do. Live life before they give their lives to Jesus. And what a sad state that is. Friends, are you on the fence today? Billy Graham once said that you can have Jesus be your Savior, but you can keep Him from being your Lord. To have Jesus as your Lord means He's in control. Have you given your life to Jesus today? Are you willing and obedient to do what he's called you to do? For King Agrippa, he wasn't willing and he wasn't obedient because he, he, he didn't respond to the message. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. Then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.